This is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity and Burger Bell. And we are off to the races. We're on our way home and to go to our nice warm house in Burger Bell's nice cold garage uh, to go ahead and get a relaxing day. Anyways, this is Caesar. I hope that you guys are familiar with this series, but right now we're doing a 50 mile per hour race to see if we can get to that speed today. If we can get some cars in front of us to move and hopefully the wind is blowing with me. It's supposed to be at least. So let's go ahead and uh, start getting some ninja tucking going here. Let's see if we can get these 5.5 gram sliders all the way around to go forward a little bit more. I've noticed that I got a lot less acceleration, uh, but I get maybe a little less RPM on the top end. So let's see what we can get. Let's see if I can, without running into the back of this car. My orange light is on. But see, I should be able to go faster because I have. Uh, I'm lighter. When you're lighter, you don't uh, have a lot of drag, and my backpack seems a little heavy. I'll get another opening up here. Let's try to go for 50 miles per hour. This car up in head is accelerating, so let's go ahead and uh, tuck. Oh no, I'm already catching up to the car in front of me. I'm at 5.5 grams. 
I need some troubleshooting here. I need some ideas as to what I could do to perhaps... Oh, you know what? My Polini variator has a weird flat spot, uh, has a dip in it. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a new one and see if that helps. And kind of... I mean, it looks like it's been riding in the same position for a while, I guess, with the old motor. And then it kind of created... Like, it's not... It's like the belt when it was riding on there ate away at some of the uh, Polini parts. So it, there's a hump that it has to go over to get to the top end of the belt now. Yeah, let's give that a shot. Let's see how that works. Of course, that requires spending money. And uh, I really feel like doing that. I don't think anyone does. Right, Burger Bell? <sighs> Alright, well, we got one more chance. Let's wait for this light and see if we can uh, achieve 50 miles per hour. Because we got... 48.5 I might just need a longer runway now that I have 5.5 grams in here What do you guys think? And then it's supposed to be a miserable day tomorrow And then on uh, Saturday it's supposed to rain So I mean so much for riding on Saturday And then Sunday it's not supposed to rain But it rained on Saturday so everything will be wet Hopefully I'll be able to ride in tomorrow If I can't ride in tomorrow then I'll just I mean, I'll ride the, the Zuma. The Zuma will get me there. Right? I think that car tried to cut me off. So there may be another straightaway up here. Generally, this is a pretty congested area, so we may not get another run. But I'm hopeful. Maybe everyone will turn out of my way. And I'll have a giant box truck in front of me. One can only hope. Nope, no box truck. Just a Hyundai. chance after this light but it's an uphill battle so we'll see much left so everything else is traffic right by the high school so I hope you guys enjoyed it wasn't a success but uh, I am asking to see if anyone has any suggestions that can make me get that one and a half mile per hour change uh, and see if uh, we can uh, finally achieve the speed all I want to do is hit 50 miles per hour once and then I'll probably back off on the weight so that I can get my acceleration back again uh, although right now it's not doing too bad. But anyways, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, be sure to share. Stay tuned next time for another 50 mile per hour episode. I also got some Zumo videos coming out soon. So, the uh, raffle bike Zuma. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video.